Yes.
Bye, guys. Hey, Beastly. You look dirty. Hi, Rudy. Are you sitting in the dirt? There's a lot of that around here. A lot of dirt. Are you a good boy? Yes. So every day we start, we put a, a layer on the bottom, up the sides. This is a small area, so we could do the whole thing, but usually we only go about three feet. And then you start laying the logs on top, and then just go over the top of the logs with the, with the mud. Okay, then as you go. Try to, get, try to get the voids out. I think that helps with the cracking. Everything's densely packed. And then again, I use staples. We, again, we use staples and nails, roofing nails. I just think that would help the mortar attach. And also it helps in the top from when the mortar slumps, it doesn't uh, kind of fall away. It's, it's something to grab a hold of and, and uh, push up against. And then I also installed really long 18 inch screws because this is a foot. All of our windows are a foot down from the top plate. And uh, I attached those screws so the uh, top of the window does not bow. So depending on how long the window is, that one got three screws, never mind the little ones. Um, I had a box up there to hang the window when we started mudding. And once we get so far, I removed that box. That's what those little screws are for. But the big black ones um, are those. The reason I did that one on the far left was because this whole window was attached and sagged because it's just screwed into this um, timber here. 
so it was sagging a little bit here so i put the screw farther on the left put my level on it and screwed it in until that window was level otherwise i would have put it in the middle which i guess i, I still could have but uh, anyway i chose to do it on the left and then when i install that window that screw uh, will get covered up <laughs> We have four barrels that we fill with the paper and uh, we actually were able to go to the um, newspaper, uh, a newspaper place and get their, I figure what they're called, you remember? Reams of paper and uh, we bought an entire uh, tote. of them for 150 bucks, which will do at least the whole outside or inside. So we um, saved paper for like two years, newspaper, and it lasted us maybe, well, it lasted us our sauna and about a third of the house. And then we bought all this paper. So it was worth 150 bucks um, to be done with it. And then it's on the reel. It's all the same. It's very quick to hang it across here and then pull it off and then put it in the barrel. So that's one way we save time. And then now uh, we cut the bottom of this off, the, the bottom of this, not right on the edge, but about an inch and a half in from the bottom. And then when you dump it, it doesn't, usually doesn't squirt out the sides. Um, sometimes it has, but uh, very rarely. But then it just drains through that screen and um, tomorrow it'll just be nothing but the slurry paper. So we fill one up and it takes probably, what do you think, three hours, two hours? Depends on how patient we are. Sometimes we are yeah, it takes bit. about two hours to drain. So we get it started the day before and then it's ready for the next day's mortar. So we went through probably two stacks of newspapers this tall between the sauna and when we started the house. And then these are how many, to give you an idea, how many rings. Now granted there's different amounts of paper on each ring, but. Yeah, some of them were quite full. Some were, weren't that many, but anyway, we've used that much. Probably did two thirds of the outside of the house. And uh, we're almost done. Just in time to clean up, get everything put away before winter. see the different colors like this one's dried that one's drying and tomorrow we will finish up the outside of the house because all we have left is that little spot there and that will be a happy day because it's taken each wall takes about five to six days so 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, between 50 and 60 days a cord would be done. Usually about three to four days a week, every day that we can. So that's what we did this summer. And then the next step is to... Uh, I got, to, I have to um, 
wire the house before insulation. So that'll be the next thing I do. We also got our stove done. I'll do a video on that. We had our, uh, that's a masonry heater. It's finished up. I'll do a little video on that in the future here. Kind of how that went down, that process. And then um, we have all our solar panels. So we're not running off a generator anymore. So that's been very nice. And even on a cloudy day like this, crappy, misty all day, um, the batteries worked their way down overnight. And I think I woke up and they're like high 60 to 70, low 70%. And I think by one o'clock today, it was charged up to 100%. Last of the cordwood for the year. I just said, and the sun even came out. It's so nice to see what we had in the humming days. I'm going to push that log out a little bit, push it in the bottom. Yeah, that's good. We didn't run out of water.